Well, listen, uh, Vinny's answer on the transgender thing is just go get the sex change. But I'm not sure that would work in uh, under these new laws, right? It is what your original birth certificate says uh, for these transgenders or sex change people. It's what your original birth certificate says. And some states, the part of the problem is that some of these states will not reissue a birth certificate. So once you have a birth certificate, say you went forward with a sex change, uh, some states will not reissue a birth certificate. But should they, if you were born of one sex, should they reissue a birth certificate? If you or had the they... sex change, you're now a... But when you were born... Well, the problem is... No, you have to... I, I'm not coming up with a solution on this problem. This okay. is a... I don't... Okay. It's a hypo- I have no solution. No, it's not even hypothetical. It's a conundrum. So what they're saying is... Um, if you want to go into the, if you are uh, identify as a female and you want to go into the ladies' room, well, get the sex change, and it's by your birth certificate. Get your birth certificate changed. So that's what the state is telling these people. But when they go to some of these states to get a, if they they won't issue it, so they're offering that up as a solution when it's not a solution. This is crazy. We we I can't. It's it's. I don't know the answer. Do you know the answer? Does any do any of us know the answer where there's going to no. be Dis, the, no discomfort for anyone. Okay, so here's, it's a huge, huge conundrum. We've just solved the problem. Okay, Christine, you issue an addendum it. to the birth certificate that okay. says there is a question. Somebody is questioning the birth at male sex later male on. till 1985. Correct. Female post 85. Issue an addendum. Okay, that's number one. And then number two, everybody has a third bathroom, and it's the LGBT bathroom. I kind of would rather have a unisex because yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to feel comfortable going into the LGBT I bathroom. I don't care myself. what bathroom. <laughs> I don't care what bathroom I go into. I care what bathroom everybody so, else goes into. No, when my daughter is in a room. Yeah, right. well, yeah. That's what I care about. Yeah, um, I can handle myself. So, but, but the the stuff- transgender people, however, are not perverts. Uh, there is a chances are the pervert sneaking into the bathroom. Is, really uh, per- is not dressed up as a lady. Right. Um, he's dressed up with a camera going down his pant leg, and it's uh, it's actually on his shoe. That's the real. Those I just are the want real my own perverts. bathroom everywhere. I Here's go. Peter Franklin. I, that's why unisex is the way to go. <laughs> Peter Franklin, Gabby Cabby. We had a great time with Peter last week from Fox Studios. Good morning, Peter Franklin. And good morning. Good morning. Are they going to be selling conundrums in the restroom? Uh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very good point. Uh, Maybe if more people wore conundrums, we wouldn't have the problem. That's a very good point. Peter, what did you think of last night? Big night for, of course, I know you're not a big Hillary fan, but a huge night for Donald Trump. Yeah, no, it was it was really terrific. The reason I'm really happy and kind of floating a little bit today that I know that there's so many people that are angry about Trump winning, and that gives me pleasure. Yeah, uh, you're even no saying that... that <laughs> They're upset. Yeah, you're uh, you're uh, talking about the conservative talk show host uh, Mark Levin, who's uh, oh, really... I didn't think he'd even mention his name. I'd like to slap his face. <laughs> awesome. Uh, no, I mean I, I, the reason I highlighted him on my website this week is that this whole entire thing, the campaigns and everything, has really been just terrible, mean, nasty, liars. I mean all kinds of stuff on and on and on. And you got this guy Levin. Uh, and I know in your industry you don't like to talk about each other, but I mean he's really terrible. I, I mean he is so anti and has been and will continue to be anti-Trump that the more he keeps telling people not to you know support Trump in any way, he's he's going to end up giving us Hillary. Yeah. So it's just you know it, it's an indication I think. Um, also, I'm tired of him selling books. Have you written a book yet? I haven't. I'm uh, I'm thinking about that. Though. Maybe, Have your parents there, written a book? Is there money? They've not done it yet either. I want, but I could if they did, I could promote their book. That's what he does. Yeah, right? But in any event, I now probably made him an enemy of yours. So I'm sorry. Hey, uh, Glenn Beck is another who's on this station. I mean, Glenn Beck has been uh, has been anti-Trump for for months, and it's every day. Um, and you're right. I think the more that they that they do this, the more it's. I think it's the more it's working for Trump, to be honest with you. Yeah, so. well, but he he did win and he did very well, and that's partly because he's been a very popular guy in New York City with all the jokes and the cracks about his hair and his wives, and and yeah. he shoots off his mouth and everything. He still has been a very, very popular person. And up until the time he started running for president, you never heard anything bad about the guy. Yeah. Hey, you see that Sheldon Silver uh, had somebody uh, in that special election vote 
uh, somebody has been. It was a Democrat that was elected, I think. Yeah, well, he's he, done. yeah. Well, he. I mean, look, Shelley is such a sleazebag, and uh, it's just typical. Typical of the disreputable people you have in upstate New York. Hey, and I'm getting <laughs> even. I'm getting even with the guy that called in and lambasted New York City. Yeah, last on your week. Show. Yeah, it was terrible. And hockey legend Mark Messier uh, cross-checking Mary De Blasio. What happened here? Yeah, well, that's that's you know the De Blasio is the big liberal. He wants to do for everybody, and in the meantime, he's blocking the creation of a big hockey center up in the Bronx, which they really could use. It's it really would be very nice. So Marky has uh, decided to take some legal action against the city because he can't see any reason for blocking the big hockey center other than they don't want the kids to have a place to play hockey. Yeah. Uh, and I have one more that I wanted you to hit on. $15 minimum wage, what it's going to mean for the hamburger. They're not going to hire people. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Right now, there's a guy in McDonald's, there's a guy in Burger King, there's a guy, you know, and they said, how are we going to get rid of people? That's all they're going to do. They're not going to pay some kid $15 an hour to make a hamburger. We're going to be paying, or we're paying fifteen dollars for the hamburger. I mean, that's really going to be the uh, where we're at, right? It's crazy. Yeah, well, but, but don't worry. Everything is going to be taken care of because... Uh, We'll have a new president, and everything will be wonderful. The uh, best tour in New York City. Peter will take you to places that you never knew existed in New York. It's an awesome taxi tour with the one and only Peter Franklin. And all you got to do is go to his his website, Gabby.com, for details. Peter, it was a pleasure being in studio with you last week. We appreciated it. Okie dokie. Have a great day. Okay, there he goes, Peter Franklin, the Gabby Cabby. All right, listen, uh, we have a, a full forecast coming up, but don't look now. Some really, really nice weather is on the way. Sunny skies today and tomorrow. 65 today, 75 tomorrow. Complete forecast is coming up along with the news. Top of the hour. It's time for that. Here we go. It's currently 36 degrees.